Hey there, StarCraft fans! It's Falco Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft II, A Legacy of the Void, and a Brave New World! Today, gonna be a TVT here on Moon Dance between Deluxe Sweet and Hamlet's Ghost. Topside Deluxe Sweet, that sounds nice, and Hamlet's Ghost is here, the blue Terran player. Alright man, so a TVT here on Moon Dance. I can't beat Terran, says Hamlet's Ghost. Ah, yes, TVT is quite a nightmare for those who play Terran. Maybe not as much as, you know, a nightmare of ZBZ for those who play Zerg. PvP is a clown fiesta, that is for sure, but I feel like skill matters more in PvP compared to the other ones. I don't know... I don't know. Let me know which mirror matchup you think is most... most weird. Most unskilled base, right? Anyway, no proxies. <clears throat> dun, 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 dun. It's a double gas opening here from Hamlet's Ghost. What are you having in store here? Maybe a Marauder Rush? Maybe a Tank Rush? Maybe a Battle Cruiser? We will have to wait and see. Deluxe Sweet. Meanwhile, dun, 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 dun. Should be expanding if it's a one racks expand. Sha! Oh, oh, are we? Are we? Come on, do it. Do it for. Do it for. Okay, yes, we're expanding. All right, factory coming up. One base play here from Hamlet's Ghost. Double gas. Maybe mass cyclone. Cyclones are pretty good, right? Right. Anyway, this is Brave New World. If you haven't seen it before, it's my every other weekly examination of Silver and Bronze League level gaming that's going on in StarCraft 2 these days. If you want me to cast your Brave New World, make sure to Silver or Bronze League. Send it to Sniper Monkey at the email address in the description, and he will watch it and let me know which ones are worthy of casting. So, Brave New World. The point is to learn. The point is to have fun. Okay. All right, so Marine, ah, combat shield coming up from Deluxe Sweet. Deluxe Sweet knows what he's doing here. But what's that next step? What is that next step here, Deluxe Sweet? Another barracks, maybe a factory? You have double gas, that's for sure. Just one barracks, one barracks pumping Marines with a tech lab is not gonna do it, man. And okay, a factory. Starport, so a one, one, one build here. From Hamlet's Ghost, man, we just have we haven't seen one 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 bells. The professionals don't really do these all that much, which is cool. I mean, the two base stuff, the one you know, the one racks expand is pretty normal stuff these days. But you know, against a Zerg player, a one 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 build could be pretty powerful. Or like a two one one, where you go two racks into a factory into a starport, and then you got like banshees and hellions and marines and stuff. Pretty tough, honestly. <laughs> it is a fusion core. All right, so we are battle cruiser rushing here. Deluxe sweet cyclones would be your best friend here. Also, missile turrets, pretty hot stuff. Marines, not super good. Ooh, Vikings though. Okay, okay, okay. So deluxe sweet's gonna have some options here for the battle cruiser that's gonna show up. I don't know. Eventually, I guess. Let's see. Where'd our tech lab go? I don't think we have a tech lab. Build a tech lab. Hurry, Hamlet's ghost. See, this is what we're talking about. This is Bronze and Silver League, because these players anymore, they generally have a pretty good idea of what they're doing. Are their timings great? No. Do they forget steps? Yes. Are they late on the tech lab the factory should have been building earlier? Absolutely. That's fine. I like what we're seeing here. Battlecruiser rushes are good at the professional level, which means they're extra good at the lower level. Okay, here's the thing. If you watch anything that happens at Professional StarCraft, right? Watch GSL, watch an ESL tournament, watch a DreamHack or something. See what the pros are doing in their matchups. And if they do something and it works, you do it too. Do you have to follow their build order exactly? Probably not if you're bronze. But if you do something that Maru does in TVT, you're probably gonna win, right? Battle Cruiser rushes, good. They take forever to come out, but you know, this is going to be about a five minute battle cruiser. Not too bad, not too bad. In fairness, we're on one base. A lot of the times, these battle cru cruiser rushes come with a second base, and that kind of does slow down the timing on the BC. But hey, it's fine. Oh, Deluxe Sweet getting a third base blind. Buddy, he feels safe though. He's like, all right, look, I have a siege tank. 
I've got a bunch of Marines. What do I have to worry about? Like the Alfred E. Newman from Mad Magazine. What? Me? Wait, what? Me? Worry? Is that how you say that? I've actually only ever read it. I don't think I've any, heard anybody say that before. What? Me? It's hard for me to say it with the right inflection. What the heck? What? Me worry? Maybe that's it. What? Me worry? Jump! And, um, well, shoot. So we're making tanks. <laughs> we're making Marines. Reaction time not super hot here because this is Brave New World after all. And, uh, yeah, main base, desolate. It des- oh, these Marines, though. You just have to kind of kite them around. La, 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 la. You can outrange them with your attacks. It's nice. Liberators can't hurt you all that much. They tickle you, actually. La, 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 la. Oh, yeah, so then casual. Casual 17 kill BC. No biggie. That is Brave New World for you. Blood all over the ground here. Anti-air currently consists of five Marines and a Liberator Cyclone. Build a Cyclone Deluxe Suite. You could do it. A Cyclone would help immensely in this battle. Building some turrets would be good, too. You have an engineering bay, my friend. I like how the tank comes over. He's like, I'm here for moral support. Nope, just kidding. I'm leaving now. No moral support at all. No engineering bay. No NG bay. Yeah, this is the bravest newest world. This is one of the more BMW, BMW, BNW games I've seen in a while. This is great. Yeah, so pro tip of this game is scout. You've got commsats, right? Get a commsat. Scan the enemy's base. Recognize they have a fusion core. Get an engineering bay. Throw up some turrets. Maybe make a cyclone. Maybe make some uh, vikings. Call it a day. Hey, look, it's a viking. Way too late for this, my viking friend. Ah, repair through that, you filthy casual mules. They couldn't, unfortunately. Dude, this is a 36 kill battle cruiser. I mean, the good news for Deluxe Sweet is he's still got money coming in. Just he's refused to make a cyclone. Like, a cyclone could finish this off. I really think it could. Oh, he's making turrets now. Where did he build an engineering bay? Up oh, back here at the secret base. Of course he did. Oh, Viking scary. But I guess he's been here long enough to jump out. Yep. <laughs> That's who. Second base up for Hamlet's Ghost. He's not, um, you know, he's not saturating it at all. But he was busy microing a battle cruiser. I get it. I totally get it. I mean, it really takes a solid professional StarCraft player to macro at home perfectly. Right? Perfectly. While also microing on the other side. It's just not going to happen for players at this level. Even diamond players are going to struggle with that. Microing an attack on the other side while perfectly macroing back home. I mean, shoot. Diamond players aren't perfectly macroing anyway. And I know that because I'm a diamond level player. So, I don't know about this, man. You saw how poorly the Marines did here. Guess what he's got now? Two battle cruisers. I don't even know if he needs this third one, man. Two PCs jump in. I think that might just be GG for our guy, Deluxe Suite. So, yeah. Lessons learned today. Scouts, all I got. Says Hamlet's Ghost. I got battle cruisers. That's how I can win TVTs, man. Deluxe Suite does not respond to the humility displayed here by Hamlet's Ghost. He's waiting for the third. He's got to be. All right. So third BC pops. Time to jump. Yep. All three jumps are available. I like how he's just defending with Widow Mines. He's like, well, if anything comes to kill me, Widow Mines will deal with it. Probably not wrong. Zoom! I love the blind... Oh, no. He scanned. He's like, oh, one missile turret. Nope. Can't repair that. Battle Cruiser DPS is too good, man. They don't even have upgrades. For some reason, Combat Shield is done for Hamlet's Ghost. No upgrades for the PCs, though. Uh, Marines popping. I just when Marines die to battle cruisers, it feels like they're popping like water balloons. I don't know because they just go blah, right? Ooh, Viking dead. All right, thirty-six to eleven army supply. The Luxuit was getting his own fusion core. I saw it. I saw him getting his own fusion core. There it is. So does he have money to make a battle cruiser? He almost has enough money to make a battle cruiser, but not quite. But he's got two bases he's working with, and he's expanding again. I kind of like this from Deluxe Suite. He's like, well, these battle cruisers own my main base. Oh, 
the butt of that's a dead tech lab and no battle cruisers will be made at all yeah that's it man oh my gosh this is brutal 58 a 58 kill battle cruiser in 10 minutes of gameplay that's how you know it's a brave new world battle cruiser man that is how you know viking gets a hit off and dies marines shoot a couple times die the marines just don't do enough damage but the BCs with their plus one base armor. Wait, is it two? They have a lot of armor. That's why Marines don't do all that well against them. A Thor's on the way from Hamlet's Ghost. Oh, Thor's too. Thor's are pretty good against BCs. I forgot about them. Dude, that's the thing. TVT has a lot of good answers here. Many, many. Repair this battle cruiser. He's a hero. Not happening, says Hamlet's Ghost SCVs. We're not doing it. Not at all. Also, Widow Mines would be kind of hot here. Widow Mines with an armory, so they're permacloaked. They're just getting shot after shot after shot on these things. Yeah, I just don't think pumping out Vikings one at a time and making Marines is really working for you today. Yeah, the thing about Yamato is you really need to get the Yamato started when the missile turret's not in range of your thing. Pro tip, that's another Falcon Paladin suggestion here. If you're gearing up your Yamato and you're getting smacked in the face by missile turret missiles, nope. That's not how you want to do it. You're taking unnecessary damage. Pull back out of range, Yamato it, and then move in and continue your attack. So, Deluxe Suites here at 1,700 minerals and 183 gas. Keeps making Marines. He's just feeding these battle cruisers right now. He is feeding them delicious, delicious Marines that pop like popcorn when you kill them. I love that Deluxe Suites down here, and Hamlet's Ghost has no idea. <laughs> Oh, is he just making more BCs? Yeah, he's just making... It's one base battle cruiser, of course. He could actually support two starports here. Because he's got two bases. Uh, maybe even three, honestly. Sitting on 700 gas. Yeah, man. This is poor Deluxe Suite. He's just... He's desperately, desperately trying to defend here. He's not even thinking about attacking. And that's hurting him right now. I mean, it would be almost better for him to move across the map and try to kill Hamlet's Ghost. Although, again, he's got Thors and tanks and battle cruisers back here too, so it probably wouldn't be anything of a different situation at all. Yeah, I mean, this is... Look at this kill ratio. Zero. To all of the things. No battle cruisers have died in this game. Hamlet's Ghost is pitching a perfect shutout right now. For those of you who are baseball fans, is that a thing that exists in, like... Cricket? What do they call it when a goalie... It's a shutout. Yeah, so a goalie has a perfect game. That's a shutout. I'm pretty sure anyway. But yeah, perfect... Perfect game here. Oh, we'll just repair the stuff here. Terran can do that. No big deal. Yeah, so this game is over. Hit that like button if you learned an important lesson here today. In the land of brave noob world. Army value, 54 to 20. And some of that is siege tanks. Ooh, enemy BCs are out. Okay, enemy BC maybe gonna get a kill. No, he got Yamato. Ah, that's it. He's out. I don't know if it's a rage quit from Deluxe Suite, but he's done. The battle cruisers are your winners today. Insane. Like, 66. 66 kill battle cruiser there, man. In the perfect pitch of health. This one's got 19. This one has one. This guy's got... There's another one in here with like 20-something. 45! Okay! Never mind. He has 45 kills. Shoot. So yeah, battle cruisers. Good at the lower levels, for sure. Possibly the most lopsided Brave New World game I've ever cast before. Like, the control here by Hamlet's Ghost was pretty good, honestly. His APM on the game was 33. He had 33 currently and 33 on average for the game. That's kind of impressive. But 10,000 resources lost for Deluxe Suite and zero. Perfect shutout. Perfect game. Whatever you want to call it. Hamlet's Ghost played very, very well here. He, you know, he wasn't spending his money perfectly. He didn't expand really on time. But hey, 
It didn't matter, right? He got the battle cruisers out. He's caught the opponent by surprise. He killed a ton of stuff. He didn't needlessly lose any PCs, right? By flying them into missile turrets without paying attention to what he was doing. By flying into the Marines, letting them all shoot at him the whole time. He kited them. He jumped home when he needed to. He amatoed Vikings. They were the big threat. He amatoed this enemy BC too, which was cool. And yeah, he just played it very well. To look sweet, I don't think I had anything to say in this game at all, which is weird, but hey. Maybe he doesn't speak English. Maybe he doesn't like chatting when he's typing as well. Because Hamlet's Ghost was chatty. And yeah, it worked out for him. Yeah, 23 workers after 13 minutes. That's exactly right. <laughs> Oof. All right, cool. So well done. And again, if you want me to cast your Brave New World replay, be sure to send it to Sniper Monkey, subject Brave New World Silver or Bronze League, and he'll take care of the rest, okay? All right. So that's going to be it for me. This has been Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft II Legacy of the Void and a Brave New World. Go ahead, hit that like button, hit that subscribe if you like what you saw and what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, Patreon, and Twitch, all at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching, and you take care of yourself.